Just film a little construction videos on the Guardians of the Galaxy um, ride. It's a construction update. As you can tell, for the most part, the building's been fully enclosed. You see it better if you're in the parking lot, but um, I get a chance to show it from out there. I might when I leave, when I leave during the day. I'm going to show you from a couple different angles what's going on with that. And today is um, February the 6th, I think. All right, here's some, um, what it looks like, the other part of the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. I think they haven't done really a whole lot inside there. You can still see it completely through the building. Most of the work, it seems, has was done on the second part, which is, you just see it over on the other side of the um, uh, Wonders of Life building. Looks like a lot of it was done over there. Like I said, the last time I was here, that was totally open. It was, it was, in, it was, it, yeah, open. Now it's just all enclosed now. It looks like there's been some, don't, don't, sorry, I'm just, I'm really tired. It's been a long day. I had to rush over here. Got here later than I planned. But on the top there, it looks like there's been some work done. That's where the solar panels were. Not a whole lot from what you can see from here has been changed. And it looks like a lot of the outside buildings generally going to look the same as when it was um, Ellen's Energy Adventure. Now one question you might be asking, why did they totally knock this down? Well, there's really a lot of reasons for that, I think. Number one, they might want to have kept it for nostalgic reasons or historical purposes. I mean, the building already looks pretty futuristic and cool, so maybe they thought that. Another reason is, if they would have knocked it down into a whole new structure, they would have had to get different licenses and permits and all that stuff. And there's extra money and fees to go with that, so they save money with that. Also, I've heard since this is technically we consider the same structure, they, they, they can follow like the old regulations and laws and rules from when this building was built compared to what it would be now. That's what I heard. So I think there's um, uh, maybe a variety of those reasons why they did it this way, why they kept that. Or maybe they just decided that the design was what they were looking for and decided to keep it. I don't know. But um, I'm not an engineer or construction expert, so I'm not sure if it was easier to keep this or knock it off fully down. I think it's something had to do with one of those reasons I mentioned, or it could be one I didn't even think of. But, um, I mean, I'm perp um, in my opinion, I'm happy they kept it. Basically kind of a relic of Epcot history by keeping this building. He easily could have got rid of it and did something totally different. So I think it would have been a shame, I thought. The building, which formerly is now Ellen's Energy Adventure, looked pretty cool out here, Universal Energy. So, I, I mean, I like the look of it. And it'll be interesting to see what the final product will be. Who knows, the outside could look totally different, but I don't think so. They haven't cha really changed out here too much, except here in the front, and of course, the roof. But maybe they'll put solar panels back there, who knows. But you can still see to the back of the building. So you can see all the way through the other side, outside. So eventually, uh, that will be closed up. And you see a worker right there. Okay, well I want to do a quick construction update on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. I'll try to do this another couple months or so and let you know how it looks. If I feel anything else, I'll just tack at the end of it. If not, thanks everyone for watching. Alright, bye everybody, bye. Here's another in inside look. See the um, construction equipment and supplies right there. So really not a whole lot's been done in that section. I think a lot of them, what they've been doing is in the um, the back section of the ride. Which you really can't see behind those trees, but I showed a little bit when I first got here. So, um, yeah, well, this, I mean, these things take a long time to build. But pretty cool, though. All right, here's another angle of that back building, as you can see. So a lot of it's been enclosed off. You're not going to be able to tell, for the most part, what's being done in there. 